is uh, William Crook. I am the co-founder of Coastal Radiation Oncology here um, and a board certified radiation oncologist. We installed tomotherapy when we opened this center uh, about two and a half years ago. My name is Daniel Landis. I'm a radiation oncologist at the Swedish Cancer Institute. We've been using tomotherapy for about six months and we've treated about 125 patients so far. We treat brain tumors, head and neck cancers, lung cancer, complicated breast cancer patients, many GI tumors such as esophageal or stomach cancers, prostate cancers, and even gynecologic tumors. So tomotherapy is a type of helical delivery system. There are other systems out there that are coming out with ARC-based therapy and um, they generally are an improvement, but they aren't as refined as tomotherapy. And it allows us to develop plans that can accomplish everything that my physicists and I would look for in a plan as far as being very accurate where we're treating and having very sharp curves as far as our dose distribution to our target volumes, as well as then when you look at the dose volume histograms, we're able to keep the doses to the critical structures around there uh, well below their tolerance limits. One of the things we're really excited about with the tomotherapy is the uh, CT guidance. We use CT guidance for every patient before every treatment each day. We're able to do a CAT scan image through our target volume ahead of time and we can match that exactly to where we planned out the radiation to begin with with our initial CAT scan so we can be extremely accurate and confident about our precision when we're using tomotherapy which means that we can now start to reduce the, the safety margin that's given around a, a tumor uh, with radiation. So we can make the treatment margins smaller, which means a less dose to normal organs and normal structures. One of the distinct advantages of tomotherapy is in treating very long treatment fields, which either can be a long tumor or a long area at risk, such as the spinal cord. Traditionally, what we've had to do in that case is match several fields to each other. Tomotherapy gets around that completely in that the way that the tomotherapy is designed and how it works. What it does is uh, the patient goes into the tomotherapy unit that looks like a CAT scanner and the machine rotates around and as the patient goes in it can continually helix around. So technically speaking you could treat the top of someone's head to the bottom of their feet as one field instead of matching several fields. So you don't have that issue with junctions and you can have a very even dose distribution. We've treated larger tumors uh, more complex tumors. So I just finished a patient that we treated both upper and lower lips at the same time. He had extensive skin cancer over both surfaces and could not treat um, surgically. Um, conventional radiation therapy also wouldn't work. With tomotherapy we were able to contour it and deliver you know, a, a tumorcidal dose there where with conventional therapy would not be. So here at the center that we're using as a TOMO only center, it is our workhorse. It's what we use for all our patients and we've had absolutely no trouble carrying an entire full load of patients on the tomotherapy. It was very easy to install. Um, essentially it could be delivered very quickly and it could be up and running in a shorter amount of time than some of the other systems. I've seen that with my center as well as colleagues that have tomotherapy centers. Uh, we've had higher uptime than I've had with my other machines. Um, our first magnetron lasted over two and a half years and it's been extremely reliable. We rarely have to cancel patients because of the machine. There are cases where you wouldn't be able to treat in a normal system, but you can treat with tomotherapy. Tomotherapy has changed the way we treat patients and allowed me to treat patients that I necessarily wouldn't have treated to begin with. Mm -hmm.